Today I will show you the proper way to transfer a patient while using a Hoyer lift. Any patient requiring a Hoyer lift transfer should come to you with a sling under their body already. The slings are not interchangeable between lift manufacturers. For patient safety, only use the Hoyer sling provided with the Springfield Clinic Hoyer lift. Do not use the patient's sling. These patients also may have a caregiver with them who may offer to assist or explain how the transfer is performed at home. Explain to the patient what you plan to do. Explain that you are going to place a sling under their body in order to help lift them using a mechanical lift to get them out of the chair and onto a table. Lock the brakes on the wheelchair and swing away or remove the leg rests. Ask the patient to lean forward. Be careful to not allow the patient to lean forward out of the chair. You may need someone to stand in front of the patient for this reason. Place the sling behind the patient with the smooth surface against the patient and the handles on the outside making sure to place the opening close to their bottom. Lean the patient back in the chair. Lift one of the patient's leg and pull one edge of the sling under the patient's leg just behind the knee. Do the same with the other leg. You will want to crisscross the straps when attaching the sling to the Hoyer. Position the lift over the patient's wheelchair. Open the legs for maximum stability and lock the caster brakes. Lower the boom and position it so that the sling bar is parallel to the patient's shoulders. Attach the straps of the sling to the sling bar. Don't forget to crisscross the straps under the patient's legs and make sure that the straps by the patient's legs attach to the front of the sling bar. Use the same color strap for both legs. Attach the top straps, the one by the patient's shoulders, to the sling bar, making sure again to use the same color on both sides. When attaching the straps, make sure that the front straps under the legs are one notch lower than the shoulder straps. Make sure that the patient's arms are crossed and inside the sling. Unlock the rear casters of the Hoyer. Slightly raise the patient with the lift, just enough so that the patient's bottom is almost off of the chair. Double check that all of the straps are secure. Gently turn the lift toward the table and position the patient over the middle of the table. Rotate and properly position the patient over the bed. Lower the patient on the table. Once the patient's full weight is on the table, you may lock the casters again and remove the straps from the lift. Unlock the rear casters and remove the lift. Remove the sling from underneath the patient. 